What's going on guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms. We've got Ben back today. What's up? Or Matt. And uh, we are here today to talk about some infields. Let's do talk about infields, Clint. Folks, we want to tell you about our latest group of infields. You know, Clint, when these came in, yeah. we were right in the midst of all of the Black Friday holiday madness with all those sales we had going on and things. And frankly, I don't think I did them justice in, in describing them. I know you guys may have done a, a very brief video or something. I don't yeah. remember, frankly. Mm -hmm. And then we created some ads. And, and I made a couple of mistakes in that. And because of that, it has led to a lot of questions for customer service about these infields. One of the most prominent questions is, why didn't you do an unveil? When you get in surplus, you do an unveil. So folks, we didn't do an unveil the first time because we didn't have time. There was just no time anywhere here. We've been running like mad. And by the way, thank you for making that period so yeah. successful for us. Uh, wonderful Black Holiday pre-Christmas sales period. Right. And I think the warehouse is getting caught up now. So if you're waiting on an order, folks, be patient. It's on the way. It's probably in, in the wind by now. I think we're really close to caught up. But at any rate, I digress. Let's talk about these infields a little more. Sure. So here's what happened, folks. We got in a group of infields like we had never had before previously these came from an arsenal in ethiopia mm -hmm. they had been stored there for a long time they are in original surplus turn in condition now that is one of the things that's created some of the uh some of the confusion what is original turn in condition right well because we were so busy i'm the one that did it we we rather than creating a new ad I put these in an old ad, we modified the ad a little bit, called it surplus condition. Now there's a couple of problems with that. Number one is, all of the old reviews that were attached to that ad for the infields in the past, were still laying in that ad. Right. So folks are seeing reviews that have nothing to do with these rifles. Gotcha. Number two is, I modified the wording to say original surplus turning condition. Now I did that because that is what they are, I'm trying to be very honest. By saying original surplus turn in condition, they run the gamut of conditions. There are some pretty nice rifles in here, and there are some dogs in here, right? right? But we were running so hard, that's what we did, and because of it, again, it created a lot of questions for customer service. They're being bombarded. Tell me about the infields. Why didn't you do an unveil? You normally do it. Do you not want people to see them? No, folks, we want you to see them. As a matter of fact, that's kind of our bread and butter. We show you what we got, you made the decision, right? Right. So we're here to try to reconcile and make up for all of that and show you exactly what we have. So, so let's do that. Number one, we have created a new ad. The new ad calls these surplus condition. I think it ends with ETH in the SKU for Ethiopia, right. surplus, and that will represent this lot of guns. Now we've got a crate here. I guess you call that a crate. What is, what is this, a, yeah, I'd call a, it a gondola, crate. a yeah. crate, what have you? Sure. Because we have guns in this crate, it makes us appear like we have a lot of them. We don't have a lot of these because we don't have a lot of crates, but if you look inside the crate, you can see what you would kind of expect on these guns. So if you want to hold a few up, Clint. Yeah. Number one, they are infields. I've never seen an infield that's a beauty queen, but this is a good representation of an infield in turn-in condition. Now by turn-in, there's some good and bad in that. Turn-in right. can be, it was a really ugly gun that had a lot of wear and a lot of service on it when it got turned in, so yep. that's the way they're coming to you. The upside is, I don't think that these are parts rifles. Right. In the past, when we've seen infields, because infields have been so dry on the marketplace for so long, you would see infields that have been parted up. You would have a yellow stock, you oh, would yeah. have a deep brown uh, yeah. handguard right. or forearm or whatever. They didn't match. By infield standards, the stocks on these match very, very closely. I truly believe that these were just the way they were carried and turned back into the arsenal. Now that doesn't mean that all the metal parts are gonna match because if a bolt went out, the arsenal would change a bolt. If a magazine went out, they'd change a magazine. Right. But overall, I believe you have the basis of the gun just the way that it was issued out of service but with a lot of carry wear on it. Yes. These things have been in the mud and the blood on comments <laughs> everywhere, right. and they're gonna show the wear from the carry and the usage that they have had in the different conflicts that they've been in. In addition to that, they were stored a long time. So we have seen guns that have excessive rust on them. Yeah. We have seen guns that have a little bit of rust on them. I was trying to find one here. Oh, here's a good example. This bolt handle has a little bit of light surface rust on it. This rear sight aperture 
It's tough with the sunlight. Yeah, I'm try, trying, trying to, to make sure I don't cover it up. Yeah. This rear side aperture has a little bit of light surface rust on it, but still very serviceable. Yep. Overall, and we called the overall, even in the ad, we called the overall condition on these yeah. surplus good based right. on the NRA grading system right. of surplus good. Surplus good means 60%, somewhere mm -hmm. around 60%. And I would say that these guns overall are somewhere around 60% as you can see by looking at very guns, various guns in this crate. Right. Some are better. None are beauty queens. I never see an infield that's a beauty <laughs> queen unless it's been refurbished. Right, yeah. In some kind of way. But overall, good, solid, serviceable guns. Oh yeah. Now, if you read the ad, folks, we tell you in the ad, they may have digs. There's a dig. They may have gouges. You know, there's a gouge. They're gonna have scratches. They're yep. certainly gonna have bluing wear. They may have some light surface rust, but that's just trying to give an honest assessment to the gun. Let's look at this one, give you an example. That one's got some really cool plate at it. Yeah, I, it. I like that, yeah. I like that a lot too. But see, there's, there's a dig or yeah. a gouge, whatever you wanna call it. Mm -hmm. So what you're trying to say is don't expect a brand new gun. Hey, if <laughs> if you're looking for a Belgian Browning, folks, and you have high expectations of something coming out and being a beauty queen that you're going to go show off to your to your to your buds and say, hey, look how gorgeous this thing is, don't buy one of these. Yeah. Maybe don't buy an infield period unless it's been refurbished because you yeah. just don't find one like that, right? Yeah, I mean they're they're working guns. They are awesome. working guns, and they are very historic. Mm -hmm. They've seen use in combat on theaters of action all over the world and they are very collectible and to me because they are in turning condition yep very much like what our chinese sks's are oh yeah those yeah. are in turning condition right oh yeah they're serviceable they're they're good guns mm -hmm. i like the character of that gun you can oh, yeah. you can you can see and hold and feel the history in this when you hold it right but we also want to be very honest. Yes. It may not be a beauty queen. Now, folks, here's what we've instructed our warehouse to do. If you come across one of these as a dog, and believe me, we've seen some dogs in this group, <laughs> although I'm not seeing any on the top of this crate. Right. Nothing that I would consider a dog by infield standards here. But if we see one that is excessively bad, that has excessive rust on it. Right. Uh, that there are any type of functional issues with, Yes. We're, we're gonna set those guns aside. We've instructed the warehouse with very stern instruction. Mm -hmm. If you see a gun that doesn't live up to a certain standard, set it aside. We'll come back and address those later. You know, maybe we sell them for parts guns, maybe we sell them at a lower price point, whatever the case may be. Right. But for right now, if you order one of these, you should be able to expect something like you see in this crate. And I hope that's cleared up any confusion that I created on the first go round uh, by not creating an, uh, an original ad for this, by modifying the other ad, by having some old reviews because right. people were seeing that, maybe even some old images that people were seeing in old reviews that had parts guns, that type of thing. Right. Not the case here. These are original surplus turning in condition. They're dirty. Oh yeah, they're definitely dirty. They're, they're dirty. <laughs> adds, well, that, adds that character that I like. You know? <laughs> it does. So, you know, a good cleaning is going to bring this back to a certain extent. Right. But uh, overall, you know, I'm proud of this group of guns. Oh yeah. Because of the character and because of the turning condition. Heck, they came out of Ethiopia. How cool is that? <laughs> right. Been sitting around in an arsenal for a long, long time. And better yet, one more caveat, folks. We don't do this very often, but right yeah. now, if you order one of these, free shipping on this rifle anywhere yeah. in the US. Oh yeah, so I think you were talking about before, man, if it's going from where we're at in North Carolina all the way to the West Coast, it's a little, a little expensive, but uh, uh, That gets hey. in our pocket pretty deep, but <laughs> right. you know, it's a, it's a real fine for the consumer to get that with free shipping. Because oh, like you said, shipping's expensive these days, yep. and right now we're running free shipping. So at any rate, infields, original turn in condition i hope this answers some of your questions boy that one's borderline butt ugly right there yeah. i talked about we hadn't seen a butt ugly one yet yeah. Yeah, that one's borderline butt ugly but still a serviceable gun yeah we are often hand select folks 
If you want to pay for the addition for a hand select, our guys will use their best judgment in going through these and they'll pick you a nicer one instead of a lesser one, right? right. Yeah. So look, let me let me do a comparison. Here. Can right. you hold that? Yeah, I got that. Thank you. So I can look at this compared to some of the others. And compared to the others that are around overall, this is a hand select. Oh yeah, absolutely. That right? Beautiful. Would you agree? I would. Now, having said that, not all things are all things, right? right? So overall, this is a hand select gun, very consistent color. I don't see any visible surface rust, good markings, but we've got a gouge. We've got a dig on that stock. You're not gonna find any one gun that is all things, but you right. will find some that are better than others. Correct. Yeah. And that will be our hand select. So if you want the best of the best, we can do that for you as well. Free shipping right now. Original turning condition gun, folks. This is what you're looking at. So I hope that clears up any confusion. My apologies for creating it in the first place. I kind of tend to do that from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> we run hard, but uh, here's a good example of what we got. Oh yeah, absolutely, guys. Clint, I haven't been able to get you to shut up this whole video. Yeah, I can you got anything yeah, else no. to say? <laughs> hey. Only things I want to hit on is check out our current giveaway. I don't think you're gonna miss out on that beautiful, beautiful gun we got. And guys, yeah, don't miss out on owning a piece of history that you see right here. The cock on clothes, that is so cool. Yeah, it still takes me a little bit to get used to it, but it's cool. I'm an old surplus, <laughs> well, I'm an old guy anyway, but I'm an old surplus guy too. I love surplus and oh, yeah. these are right up my alley. Absolutely. All right, are we done? I think so. Folks, we really appreciate your business. Thank you for all that you do. Absolutely, guys. And as always, God bless, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.